What's up everyone? I've recreated the Apple homepage's navigation bar inside of Bricks Builder and I'm going to provide you with the template and also guide you through the process how you can set it up yourself. Let's get started. To import the template, all you need to do is to navigate inside your WordPress panel to Bricks and under Bricks go to Templates and then import template. There you can select your file and afterwards, after you selected it and uploaded it, click import template. After that's done, you will be left alone with a header template, which we're going to edit right now. To customize it, simply click edit with bricks, as you're probably familiar with. The navigation, at least on the desktop side, is split into two separate blocks. The first one being the top level menu, which is basically what you can see right over here right now. And the mega menu, which is currently not visible. I can show you what the mega menu part does. Once you hover over the navigation bar item, the mega menu appears. And this is basically the block which is called inside Bricks Builder Mega Menu. Let's start with the top level menu. Inside the top level menu, you have the mobile menu, the desktop menu, as well as some icons which are only displayed on mobile. The desktop menu, it basically consists out of simple links, simple text links, and you can adjust them by your liking. For example, if I want to edit the text of item uh, test one, I'll call it test one. And now it will display over here. This is pretty self-explanatory. But for your mobile menu, you have to adjust it manually as well. So if we go to your mobile menu, don't worry, it's styled in the mobile section. Uh, you will also have to adjust the mobile items uh, to your liking. For example, well, uh, let me keep that open while styling. Uh, you want that to say uh, item for testing. Also self-explanatory. When adjusting the mega menu, it gets a little more confusing. As each mega menu by default, by this template's default, consists out of three blocks. Let's open the item one, for example, which opens, as we already learned earlier, by hovering over the item one, which is now called test one. So inside these blocks, you can pretty much put whatever you want to display once uh, it's open. So in this case, it's just a simple text and some more links inside another div and another one. And in block three, it's an image. It's a placeholder image. This is pretty much all you have to know when it comes to adjusting the basic content of the navigation bar. But if you want to adjust the transitions meaning the way uh, the animations work and the delay and the durations of all the animations, you can adjust that as well, but it gets a little more complicated. To do that, you will have to navigate inside the mega menu and select the class navblock minus order. Inside the CSS tab, you can adjust the transitions. For example, if I want them to be two seconds instead of 1.2 seconds. Let's demonstrate that real quick. You will have very slow animations. You may as well have noticed that each mega menu is of different size. It's fairly simple, but it takes some time because you have to adjust this for every item itself. So to do so, we will have to navigate to our items and select the class 
of whatever item you you want to adjust. In my case, I want to adjust nav item 3. I can also adjust nav item 4. Each has its own class. And inside nav item 3, I will go to the interactions, which is this little finger icon up here. And I will adjust on the second in interaction. I adjust the height. To demonstrate that, we will adjust that to 500 pixels. And on the front side, this will look like this. As you can see, it goes way farther out. In this case, I wouldn't suggest that, but if you got way more content, uh, way more lines of content in here, it is necessary to adjust as everything that goes out of this mega menu is simply not displayed at all. I hope you liked the template. Download link will be in the description below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy working with it. And also, if there are any more questions, write them down below in the comments. Have a great day.